there are dynamics at play here politically. I've been told uh, and our team has been told by sources familiar that Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has been one of the chief people sort of corralling information and funneling information to and from the president in the West Wing as this has all unfolded. Uh, but you're right. The people are in place. This will move on. Doesn't mean President Trump is going to you know, like it any more than he already has. He's so far, and it needs to be said here, he has issued a series of tweets, uh, as you noted at the top of this broadcast here, some of which have been removed. His Twitter account is now locked for the next 12 hours. We cannot hear from him on Twitter because of how uh, that platform has suggested his tweets are so incendiary. There is the potential that his entire Twitter account will be suspended permanently if he continues to issue the kinds of tweets he's been issuing. Through all of this, and including through that video uh, that, that the president issued, that taped message that was taped by his staff, not by members of the media who were present, uh, the president really hasn't had a tough word to say about the people, the rioters who stormed the Capitol. In fact, the opposite. He said, we love you. He said uh, essentially that he believes they're special. Great patriots is one of the words he used to describe that tweet absolutely antithetical to the language that others have been using, including many Republicans, to describe what we have seen unfold at the Capitol. Uh, and so this is, you know, the, the president thinks this is going to be a day that will be remembered forever. It sure will be, but not for the reasons he thinks, Savannah. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.